Hello dear students welcome back this question was asked in gate 2014 exam set 3 the statement is actually very lengthy but i'll still classify this one as a easy to moderate question the main job here is reading the statement once you have read the statement it's going to take like a minute or so so first let's read the statement only an instruction pipeline has five stages namely if ID, RF, EX, MEM, and WB. You can uh, just see their full forms. With stage latencies: one nanosecond, two point two nanoseconds, two nanoseconds, one nanosecond, and point seven five nanosecond, respectively. To gain in terms of frequency, the designers have decided to split ID, RF stage into three stages, namely. ID RF1 RF2 each of latency 2.2 divided by 3 okay so what they are saying is this is a five stage pipeline processor these are the five stages and you are also given the latencies of these stages now just to uh, improve this design they decided to split this stage into these three stages idrf stage instruction decode and register fetch stage is uh, divided into instruction decode register fetch 1 and register fetch 2 these three stages now this 2.2 nanoseconds time is divided into three parts each equal to 2.2 by 3 parallelly they have also said ex stage is divided into two parts ex1 and ex2 so 2 nanoseconds is divided into 1 nanosecond and 1 nanosecond okay let's read the question also the ex stage is split into two stages ex1 and ex2 each of latency 1 nanosecond the new design has a total of eight pipeline stages okay so the new design is if id rf1 rf2 ex1 ex2 memory access and write back so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay a program has 20% branch instructions which execute in the ex stage and produce the next instruction pointer at the end of ex stage in old design and at the end of ex2 stage in the new design The IF stage stalls after fetching a branch instruction until the next instruction pointer is computed. All the instructions other than branch instructions have a average CPI of one in both the designs. The execution times of this program on the old and new design are p and q nanoseconds respectively. The value of p by q is okay. So. p by q is actually the speed up because this is the formula of speed up they are asking time taken divided uh, time taken by old design divided by time taken by new design which is actually the speed up so you need to compare the improved version by the older version to calculate the speed up what they are also saying is 20% of the instructions are branch instructions and you very well know in case of branch instructions the average cpi increases normally the average cpi is considered to be 1 but in case of branch instructions average cpi will be greater than 1 so let's calculate average cpi in both of the cases first of all let's see this old design normally say this one is a branch instruction had it been a normal instruction we would have started fetching the next instruction from here only but because this one is a branch instruction we'll know the target address of next instruction only after this ex stage is completed so the target address is known after this point that means the next instruction will be fetched here this one is if of the next instruction actually what happens is you start fetching from here only but as soon as the processor gets to know that previous one was a branch instruction 
it flush, uh, flushes out the information that was fetched here. So it's kind of not doing anything in these two stages. Only after knowing the condition, that means if the condition of branch was true, only in that case you will jump. Else you will just continue normally. That means that instruction that was fetched here will be fetched here again in case of false. Anyways, now these two are stall cycles because this one is a branch instruction and then you will just perform id rf then execute then memory access and then write back. What is the average CPA in this case? Average CPA means CPA actually means clocks per instruction. That means between the completion of two instructions, how many clocks are there? You can see we have one, two and three clocks. So average CPA in case of branch is three. Uh, let me write it here. Old design. In old design for branch instructions average CPA is 3. Okay. And in new design for branch instructions let's calculate the average CPA. Now here in new design you see we have 8 stages and the target address is known after completion of this stage. Uh, sorry, this stage, EX2. Uh, let me first draw the diagram. Now you see, in case of new design, because we have 8 stages, the first instruction is going to take these 8 clock cycles. After that, we cannot start fetching the next instruction here only, because this one is a branch instruction. Okay, we are calculating the average CPI for branch instructions. In that case, you see, IF will not happen here, this one will be a stall, this one also will be a stall, here also, here also, here also. Only after completion of E2 stage, we get to know the target address. That means instruction fetch is going to happen here. And all of these 8 stages will be placed here. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means at this point, the second instruction will be completed. At this point, the first instruction was completed. You can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have six clock cycles between the completion of two instructions. That means the average CPI here is six. Okay. Now let's try to calculate the speed up. They're actually asking about speed up only. So you know that speed up is time taken by old design divided by time taken by new design. They are calling it P and Q. So P by Q is okay. So what I've done is 20% of the instructions in old design require a CPI of 3. Remaining 80% of the instructions need CPI of 1 that's given in the question. Parallelly in new design, the average CPI for branch instructions is 6. That means 20% of the instructions incur a CPI of 6. And the remaining 80% will just be completed in one clock only. Okay. Actually, P by Q are times. P and Q are times. I am just calculating the CPI here. Then we'll just multiply it by time taken. 
ओके सो दिस इज नॉट योर एक्चुअल आंसर जस्ट सॉल्व इट एंड सी वॉट इज द फ्रैक्शन so this comes out to be 1.4 by 2.0 this is not your answer because still we are just knowing the average cpi for one instruction of a program where 20% of the instructions are branch instructions we need to calculate the times because p is time taken q is also time taken just see in the statement they are defining the execution times of this program on old and new design are p and q p and q are times in nanoseconds so now we need to multiply this cpi by time taken okay this is for one instruction for entire program the time taken will be number of instructions into this okay so if number of instructions in the program are n you will multiply n here as well as n here and eventually they'll get cancelled so there is no need of actually doing that now let's multiply this by the time taken one cpi or one clock in old design requires 2.2 nanosecond okay because this one is the maximum one so 1.4 clocks will be taking 2.2 into 1.4 okay similarly in the newer design you see what is the maximum of all these 1 2.2 by 3 1 and then 1 and 0.75 so maximum here is 1 nanosecond because this is 1 this is less than 1 this one is also 1 1 1 and again less than 1 so maximum here is 1 that means the clock frequency or time period for clock in your design will be one nanosecond that means one clock requires one nanosecond so two clocks will be taking two into one nanoseconds okay so just calculate it and that's your answer this one is your answer it will be something 1.4 let me just use the calculator it's 1.4 into 2.2 3.08 divided by 2 3.08 divided by 2 will be something 1.5 3 by 2 is 1.5 this will be 1.54 so your answer to this question is 1.54 and maybe this one was a numerical answer type so you need to be exact at least up to two decimal places uh, they may or may not consider 1.5 so you just write this 1.54 okay let me just summarize this what we have done is first we calculated the cpi average cpi for one instruction in old design then we calculated the average cpi for one instruction in new design that comes out to be 1.4 and 2 this is 1.4 this is 2 then we multiplied it by time taken the old design in the old design time for one clock was 2 nanoseconds sorry 2.2 nanoseconds but in newer design the time for one clock was 1 nanosecond only because in old design we have these five stages only and the maximum is 2.2 but in newer design the eight stages were this, 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 this one, this one, this one and this one. So out of these, all these, the maximum is one. So one clock here uh, takes only one nanosecond. So we are multiplying average CPI by the time taken by one clock to calculate the entire time taken by one instruction. 
time taken by one instruction divided by time taken by one instruction and if you calculate if you want to calculate the time taken by entire program it will be into number of instructions this one will be into n here and into n here as well so this one is time taken by entire program on old design divided by time taken by entire program on new design eventually it won't have any effect on your answer answer still remains 1.54 okay